Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Starfield. We are here on the planet Procyon 3 in order to finish scanning the entire planet so that we can then, you know, we're probably going to put a colony on here. That's what I want to do on this weird bug planet. But we have three creatures. We have not... Wait, 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 wait. What did we find? We found it. Okay, here's one. It's like a weird praying mantis. Oh, it's these things. It's these stupid things. Okay. So we saw these on another planet, or something similar to this. So that makes me wonder if they are like a galaxy-wide nuisance like the terra terramorphs are. Well, now that we know, that's one of the things we're looking for. We can keep an eye out for coral bugs. These things we've seen before. Just skirt around them. Hopefully. I said skirt around them. Thank you. Alright, keep our eye out for the coral bugs, though. And there's a cave over here. So I'm wondering, does occupied mean someone's living there? Or does it mean, like, there's a, uh... Nope, someone's living here. Okay. I thought maybe it meant occupied by animals. Occupied cave. I'm not looking to cause no problems. I'm just here to say hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, you're not, you won't be able to say hello if you're dead. Climb up. Drug, climb up. Thank you. Uh, a magnet. Let's check this cave out. Let's see if there's actually anybody in, or maybe it's maybe it has wildlife in it. Aha, it does have wildlife. So occupied by unexpected wildlife. The ones that we need to scan. Aha. Hello, sir. So the miners came down here and found a little bit more than they were looking for, it looks like, unfortunately for them. How far back does this cave go? Okay, we'll go up there. Check that out in a minute. 12 gauge shotgun shells. That's a drug back there. Heart plus. A combat knife. You guys probably should have used that to protect yourselves from the giant bugs. Advice that is a little too late. Obviously. Teal engineering outfit. Nope, don't need that. Not worth the pickup. that. That's the lamp. Okay. Uh, we do have another trauma pack. A hammer. You could drop the hammer. Cutters, they, they weigh a lot. They're not worth picking up more than the one we have. Alright, let's go up. Let's see if there's anything to see. Ah, there's more cave this way. Okay. Coral bugs. And copper. I shall stand guard while you focus. Hey. Scan the other one. There we go. 
What is it? I'll tell you what it is. It's a weird bug. I would have thought you would already have figured that out. It's so dark in here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Credit to Mobilizer. Argos jacket and jumpsuit. No, I'm good. I'll grab that heavy particle fuse, even though we don't have any guns that use it, but might as well. Cave is so dark. So dark in here. Credits. Deep mine space helmet. Nope, we don't care about the there. Roop. Ah, more bugs. Good, good, good. Maybe more bugs? No, just a cutter. And then it's just looped around. Okay. Right, this just looped back up. Ah! Aha! Aha! What's down here? Tell what's over there, but over here, some synapse alpha and a safe that we need to crack. This is a novice safe. That's not very well protected. I tell you what. Uh, it's this one. Here we got these three and these two. Med pack, a magnet for our productions. Oh, they won't discover us, don't worry. Down there's where I killed some stuff. Oh, this cave is so dark. Ugh. This is went deeper in, so we need to go this way. Getting all turned around in here. Man, the lighting is just so poor. Inside some of these caves. Well, that was interesting. We were able to scan some more things, so that got us going. Now, of course, it's nighttime because why wouldn't it be? Uh, we came that direction, so let's go down here this way. Oh, wait, what's over there? Looks like another structure over that way. We'll go that way. Maybe we'll find more to scan. Oh, more coral bugs. Look at that. Got him. Oh, don't die here, Grug. Don't die now. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, hey, they, oh no, that's this gun that does that. It's like, they blow up. No, they don't. My gun makes them blow up. The spoils of victory, I suppose. They know their messy glory. Uh, where were we headed? This way, right? Yeah, towards that symbol. So that's the coral bugs done. 
so this biome is complete. So we have scanned the wetlands. I have no way to ocean. How do you land? How do you scan the ocean biome? I've seen every other biome, right? Unless you have to walk towards the coast. No, frozen plains is done. Wetlands is done. There's some biome we are not seeing that we need to. Yeah, that's wetlands, frozen plains. I keep getting thrown off thinking that clouds are some type of other biome, but they're not. Yeah, I'm just not seeing. Unless something jumps out that has a different name. Unless there's something at the very top pole of the planet that we're missing. Like way up here. gotta be the ocean so I guess if we were to come in here right and I was to choose coast right here and I was to travel to the south or if I was to choose wetlands like right here and head south Let's see if we can get to the water's edge. Maybe that's the trick. So, I want to head south. That's north. So we're just going to head straight south until we hit a coast. And before I forget, we have the skill point. I'm going to do this now before I spend it somewhere else. We want targeting control systems. We want to unlock a ship's targeting functionality. Because we need that for later. Because I tried to shoot a ship and I couldn't aim at its engines. All right, so we are just going south. Until we hit a coastline. Like, that's the whole plan. We should probably keep this open in case... In case something does pop up, we can... Nope, see, this biome is complete. There's nothing to scan here. It's gotta be the ocean that we're missing somehow. Keep going south. Let me just look this up, too. Again, we're just looking up when there's a mechanics thing. So if I wanted to hit here. How could I scan ocean biome starfield? Um. Alright. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Yep, so you've got to get to the water. Okay, so I'm on the right track. So let's make sure we're actually going the right way. Uh, map? I want the local map. 
I keep forgetting there's a surface map because of how silly it is. And I'm guessing, based on topography, that this must be the ocean. So I think we're headed in the right way. I think I am doing what I need to do to accomplish this. Towards the ocean, hopefully. Coral Buck Stalkers. Don't even start with me. I think we're getting near the coast. Could this be the beach right here? Are we on the beautiful rocky beaches of Procyon? I think we might be. <gasps> Aha! We have water. We have found the beach area. Ah, now we have to find our two missing pieces of fauna. We will just follow the water line. Okay, the water is a freezing liquid, so we don't want to go down into it. And we do want to keep our eye out for anything that's new out here. Copper deposits. Bugs that we've seen before. Nothing new there. Any interesting results? There are all kinds of interesting results, but not the ones we want. We pass these bugs here. have to go to the frozen coast as well. We'll see. Let's see what we encounter. That's the copper node. I have seen these bugs before. These are not new bugs. Bring me new bugs to scan. Okay, that's that rocky area. Stay down near the beach. <gasps> Is that? No. Hunting Chronosaurus. You saw that, right? How do we get that? You get out of the way. You are worthless. 55 meters. Can I just fire at it and maybe... Get it to come over here. Come on, come closer. Come closer. Oh, it swam away. All right, well, it's in the water. I can't go in the water. The water is dangerous. It's 52 meters out. Is it going to come closer? I no. It's not. Well, poop. If it's a fish. Oh, wait, that's don't just, that's just weeds that we've seen before. Why it's showing up that color and not the Oh, there we go. Somehow we didn't have swamp weed done. Weird. Alright, so look, there's a whole bunch of things out here. Schooling Featherfin Filterer. Alright, so I don't know that we'll be able to get close enough without the scanner upgrades to do this. Well. 
Unless we can get out on this rock and get real close. Aha! We did. We got an outcropping and we got some. But I don't think that's going to work very well. Unless it's going to let me scan much farther out. For some reason. And the scanning range has been inconsistent, is what I would call it. Just stop going over the rocks, Grug. If you can't figure out how to walk over the rocks, don't walk over them. So we know what we're looking for now. We oh, a little load. Do a quick save. And this is just going to yell at me that it can't. Oh! Wait, why is my... This doesn't make sense. Why does the scanner here say range... 30 meters. I don't get why. I am perfectly fine to just let it give it to me so that we can get this done. type of weird... Of course, if it says those things have adhesive... Oh, it's on. On like Donkey Kong, my friends. Like, unless I can get them close enough to shore... Oh, it's huge! How bad is this? What's it got? Nutrient tissues. Okay. Got it. Alright, let's keep going. I really don't want it to be nighttime. Can I? Oh, I wish I had a chair to sit in so I could not have it be nighttime. Really is all I wish, game. We're getting close. We just need more to spawn in. Where is it? It was right there. If you find anything significant, say the word. I'll tell you what I found significant. I find it significant that we can't make it daytime. Ah, uh, we're so close to having this. We're so close. There we 
go. I love also that I have completely abandoned healing myself. Like hopefully I'll heal eventually, I guess. Almost. One more scan for each. Then I think we're done with this planet scanning. Thank goodness. Thank the maker. Alright, one more filter feeder. There we go. <gasps> adhesives. They make adhesives. Hold on, get out here with your brain. Those things have adhesives. Come to me. This is the most important thing ever. Okay, we killed one, I guess. Quite sure you want to hold on to that. Yes, I am so sure. So we have finally found a source of adhesives. They are terrible. And we have to run out into this like death water to get it. But But, it is a source. Oh, that's way too far away. Alright, so we'll have to find a better way to harvest that. But we've done it. Okay. We have succeeded. Next up. Now that we have fully scanned this planet. Let's decide where we want to put our base. In the wetlands... Let's put it just right here, near this mining outpost. Let's put it on the coast, actually. So, ocean. I want it near a coastal area, so that we have access to all of that. Guess we have to find one of those little islands to put it on? I was hoping I could do it during the... Oh, we can always wait till local time, so that's fine. So an island in the middle. This is just frustrating. Hold on. There we go. Wetlands Coast. Travel here. Let's do this. Let's try to make an outpost and see what's involved. Nice, big, open, flat lane. I like it. Our coast... Looks like it's probably off there is our coast. But let's just make our outpost here. In this big, flat area. Nothing around, so this is probably wrong. Some bugs. A big... Ah, oh, there's the coast right there, so we're real close to it. Okay, I like it. Um, so this big flat area, what's all that? Extra fluorides and all that. So, how does this work? Outpost, X. 
Place an outpost beacon by pressing A. Let's do it. Right here. Placing an outpost beacon allows you to build objects and structures. Navigate and build menu category using left bumper or right bumper. Switch to modify mode using B. Outpost objects are built from items and resources. When building objects, the build costs are automatically moved from your ship's cargo hold or your inventory. So, we have to have the stuff in our cargo hold to build water vapor, a flooring extractor, we need nickel and copper, tetrafluorides, we need nickel and iron, and for water, we need nickel, iron, and aluminum. And we need benzene for this. Okay. Power. Beryllium. Oh, this is a whole thing, isn't it? Nickel and cobalt. Fuel generator. A powered switch. Industrial wall light. Storage. Okay, bulk storage, liquid storage, gas storage, small warehouse, manufactured goods, fabricator. Ah, so these don't take, ah, so this takes five power, five power, five power. This produces four power for a solar array, a wind turbine produces 10. This needs helium 3 but produces 20. This is just a switch. And we can put in a light post if we want more light. Okay. This allows you to take stuff from orbit. Storage, just as storage, doesn't require anything else. Produces adaptive frames out of aluminum and iron. This takes three. We don't know what it does, but it takes three. This greenhouse takes three. An airlock. Board wall hub, hydroponic hab. These look to be just little, like, habitation units. So it doesn't look like it's anything that does anything except for give you a place to stay. Okay, that makes sense. Crafting. We have all the workbenches. Got it. Turrets. Robot. Sanitation robot. A garden robot. Increase production rate of organic resources by 10. Inorganic by 10. Increases manufactured items by 10. Okay. A bunch of furniture. Ah, I can build a piece of furniture and I can sit down. This is the most important thing this right here never have the patience for construction destruction is much easier and often more fun decorations storage box lamps oh a picture poster i love the space frog posters there are five of them. Oh, there's a bunch of different warning signs, too. Okay. Wall monitor, dartboards, rugs. Just all kinds of garbage. All kinds of garbage. Sinks and toilets. Ah, and we can put our spacesuits on stuff. We can put in display cases. Helmet stands, weapon racks. Okay. Got it. And then miscellaneous. A scan booster. Will this double the range of your hand scanner? 
cargo link. Build these at two different outposts and link them together to allow the transfer of goods between them. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming container and the other outposts vice versa. Link outposts within the same system. No fuel required. Oh, this is huge, okay. And then an inner system one takes this. Build these in two different outposts and link to the others. Allow them allows a link between systems as required for supply missions. Requires helium three. A crew station. Build this to allow crew to be assigned to your outpost. Outpost manager school let you build more crew stations on each of your outposts. Landing pad with shipbuilder. Aha, okay. We're getting it. A small landing pad. A mission board. Self service, use this. Clear bounty with any law enforcement organization in the settled system. Okay. Cool. So, we can extract water, fluorine, tetrafluorides, and water. If we had the resources, but we would need power. We, need... we get power from these things. Okay. Well, I think I get the basic ideas here, which is fine. Cool. And then if we go to our outpost beacon, if I'm in regular mode and I walk up to here, I go into build mode and I can build it. Wow, look how big an area it gives you to build on. That circle's pretty huge. All the way out there. Okay. Well. We now have an idea of how this works. We build a beacon, and then we build different things. Now, the problem is, is our ship has so little inventory space in it, and we may have to do a lot of bookkeeping to keep track. But I'll tell you what, considering that we can do this, we need Membranes, benzene, nickel, and iron. So. Membranes, benzene, nickel, and iron. If I go here, I can choose that and walk to it. So. Nickel and iron. It's kind of a big thing that we need. Hold on, let's see. Right here. Yes. Is that nickel? Yeah, no nickel. Here, where can we get iron? There we go. You have iron, right? And lead. You have nickel and iron. We have lead here, right? No, we have lead here. So we need nickel and iron for that. Okay. Well, I may have to do a lot of like resource collecting to actually get into doing this. This might be a little bit more than I expected it to be. So here's a question. Uh, 
How far out does that outpost ring go? All the way to there. We had this deposit. But I guess placing an extractor doesn't matter. Right? Like, we can place stuff anywhere. Which is fine. These stupid things. Well, I mean, I've got some time. I'm not going to do any missions today, so why don't I just... Let's let's try and build some stuff and kind of do a little more with this if we can. So, we need... Have I healed yet at all, or am I going to have to go... Okay, they're getting better. My, my conditions are improving slightly. So, first things first. Walk back over here. Well, run back over here. All good. I need to build power. That's the first thing we need is power. And for this, nickel and cobalt. For a wind turbine. I feel like there's good wind up here. So nickel, cobalt, and aluminum. Nickel, cobalt, and aluminum. This place has nickel. We've got some aluminum on us. Is that nickel? Yeah, nickel. Too bad something here doesn't have cobalt. We've been somewhere with cobalt because we picked a bunch of it up. Or we were mining it somewhere. Neon, is that chlorosynthalates or whatever? No, benzene. Oh, okay. I mean, aluminum is manufactured, isn't it? So what do we have here? Just to kind of look around. Level is unknown. Halley unknown. Let's scan a couple places and get and just kind of see what's around here. Okay. Star map. Scan it. Ah. Cobalt and nickel. Look at that. Look at that. Psychic. And is it barren? It is barren. So cobalt and nickel. How about here? What is this? A random ship. Grissom has iron. Nickel, lead, cobalt. Nickel, iron, co copper, cobalt. Water, helium. So Zamka's pretty good. Well, that's a pretty good set of planets right here, actually, too. Voss is really good. There's a star station above Voss, but... One of these have iron? No. Well, we know we need cobalt and nickel. So let's go here. Um, let's get a place that is one or the other. Uh, it is a barren, dead place of doom. It's a frozen ice ball in the sky. 
That's water. And cobalt is just randomly around, so... We'll just go here. Some frozen craters. Some cobalt and nickel. Landing struts arrived. Retro's firing. Off the ship. What have we got around here? Kind of natural location. Extreme ambient cold. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. We're doing this. Try and steal another ship. Can we get there before it takes off? That was the problem last time. Tried to get to one and it took off. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Hundred eighty six. I'm just going to try and jump on this ship. That's a big ship. Varun Zealots. All right, let's just try it. Star Freight Logistics, eh? Rune Litany. Wait, are these a faction? They are not instantly attacking us. Hold on. Hold on. So now... Are they not hostile? If you find jumping in low gravity amusing, now is your chance to enjoy yourself. No, no, they're hostile. Okay. They're hostile, all right. I don't know if she's with me or out there. What do we have? Antimicrobials? Hello! Oh, these are the zealots. These are bad guys. Still one inside of here. think there's contraband on here again? That's the question.
That was the problem previously. Cargo hold. Oh! So we can just take their stuff here. Or... Sorry, bro. Let's take off in this. Let's save. Okay. Have we... You've come to a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to another star system, the ship will become your home ship. That's fine. Let's take off. Thank you for your ship. We stole a ship. Let's see what's on it. All right. So this thing has a Where ton. Where are we going? What are we doing? What's next for me and you? Slide on out. Let's see what we have. So we got we going? the two crew what are we quarters. Doing? What's next for me and you? Which is good. Got a couple bodies on our ship. That could be problematic, but that's okay. Uh, this thing is fairly large, but what we're looking for is anything that is illegal. Any kind of contraband. I'm not seeing any contraband so far. Plenty of, you know, food and beer, pale ale, a sealed container. We've got a galley. This place is a mess, but looks okay so far. like some passenger quarters maybe and then this cargo holdy area so we've commandeered oh but there's more ship there's more ship up here hey Vasco sits on the ship now Okay. All right. Captain. Hello. I die, Captain. Ah. Okay, so now what we'll do is I'm just excited we got it. We took a ship. Is that our docking ring up there? I take it maybe. Yes, that's our docking ring. Okay cool posters so let's go ahead we've just saved we're gonna find out if if I can fly this ship into like into regular space like the Jemison So what if, what if I go land and at, uh, what if I go to Jemison? Okay, 
so the grav drive on this thing is crazy so this ship is safe one of your ships not registered you must register the ship before you can modify or upgrade it so this is the ship we stole it has an 830 size cargo hold that's amazing um it has lasers, missiles, and EM damage. A huge engine on it. A bigger shield. Only two crew available. Let's go register this ship. I like, I really like this giant cargo hold. That's what I am most excited about. Look, it's got two big cargo things on it. Let's go register this ship. Um, where is the planet? Let's go to New Atlantis and figure out how we have to, what we have to do to register. Can we sell this ship for a billion dollars? Security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Must be the All right. So, how much does it cost to register a ship? Hey, what can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? I like to view and modify my ships. Okay, no problem. All right, how do I register? Okay, hit these two buttons to register, or this button to register. This ship is 13 by 20. So it's pretty big, okay. To register. 7,000, that's not bad at all. Confirm. Why is the value on this so low? Or are they just quite inexpensive? Oh, is it because I'm looking at something? Oh, so I'm looking at something like... I'm looking at a module, I guess. So 19, two crew reactors. We got a new ship. This is crazy. Okay. Um, if I go to upgrade this ship, what do we have? So this has, weapon one is this, which is a horizon defense laser. Weapon two is an EMP-80 EMP suppressor, a oh, weapon zero, weapon one, and a missile launcher. Shield damage, electromagnetic damage, hull damage is very low maybe? Alright, so, but if I wanted to switch to a gun. So, what's a gun do? It doesn't do electromagnetic damage. Lasers, pulse laser. Ah, there we go. Maybe those, those are kind of expensive. I'm just looking to see what our options are. I feel like we should have like a ballistic gun, right? Like we should replace these with a gun gun. And what about the missile? Okay, it's just the same thing. Shield generator up on top. So if we upgrade it to this, it would take our shields to 420. From 355. If 
if we upgrade this. That thing is 15 grand for a total reactor. We can't upgrade the laser. It says we have to have Starship Design Rank 2 to upgrade that. So I guess, you know, these do a lot of shield and electromagnetic damage, but they don't do a lot of ballistic damage. Like, that's what I'm concerned about. I feel like... Range 800. I feel like I want a, a machine gun. Right? Oh, hull damage. I'm an idiot. Hull damage 72. Okay, those things are great. We're, we're going to leave those the way they are. Um, but I feel like we need a laser that does more shield damage. Yeah, maybe we leave it alone. Let's not mess with a bunch of this. I'm fine with this, I guess. So we registered our ship. Looks to me like you've already in pretty good shape. It doesn't need repairs. What did you need? So what happens with our inventory? So if I go back here. Hello. And walk out of my giant cargo hold. Grab that med pack. And I look at our ship's cargo hold. It did bring over all the cargo. Okay. So it brought everything over. Yes, all of our items are here. We're good. So. We'll talk to a doctor here in a minute. Man, we're already at an hour or two. I'm just like, so we got a new ship! I don't, I'm excited. I'm, I'm crazy awesome. Alright, so we got a new ship. We got a whole bunch of, uh... Of storage space. The cargo on this is amazing. Cargo, 8.30. It is twice the cargo space almost of our previous ship. That's awesome. Varun Litany. Look how much better that is than the Frontier. The only thing the Frontier has on is lasers. That's it. Even the shields are better. Okay. Missile is 47. Ballistic 70, or EM 72. The jump distance is not as far, but that's okay. Now what I would love to do is I would love to have more crew spaces on our main ship. So, if I were to come over here, Need some work done? and I wanted to modify okay, this no ship problem. so it could have more crew, what are we looking at? The reactor, landing gear, Cockpit. Crew stations 2. If I wanted to select this and I wanted to edit this Hold on. Let's save the game first before we, we muck about with this real quick. Now that we have a new ship? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities? Okay, no problem. Alright, so. Ship building. This is where we have our cockpit. How do I add? Okay, add. Cockpits. Cockpits. What's available? Crew stations two. Crew stations two. Everything just has two crew stations. 
Doctors. Engines. Fuel tanks. Gear. Grab drives. Halves. Man, ship parts are not that expensive, actually. I mean, some of these are, like these guys, but like eight grand? Like. From a, a cost, like a, a cost perspective, building a ship might be cheaper than I thought it was. Yeah, but nothing that has bigger crew sizes, so crew 2 seems to be the max. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited about this. Uh, let's sell some stuff off. Let's wrap up this episode. Um, sell from Varun. Uh, I want to keep one of those, because those look impressive. But the rest of this we can sell off. Oh, they don't have much money left here. I must have sold stuff here off screen previously. Alright, well I'll do some selling off screen, and when we come back, um, we will... We might be doing a little more outpost stuff, like maybe some mining and things to get the outpost going. Uh, but then uh, we'll be moving on to some more, back to some missions, I think. So uh, I might do some mining just off screen so that I don't have to worry about recording it because it's going to be really boring, even more boring than scanning. So uh, we, we'll see where we are when we come back, folks. This is exciting. We got a new ship. I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.